An undercover reporter whose newspaper stings helped jail scores of criminals is tonight behind bars himself. Mazar Mahmoud, known as the fake sheikh, is starting a 15-month jail sentence for tampering with evidence. And now the former News of the World journalist has been exposed as a crook. Some of his former victims are planning to sue, as Sejal Karia reports. The secretive reporter with a fearsome reputation for exposing wrongdoing through his controversial sting operations today saw one of his own stings land him behind bars. There were shouts of your turn now, Mazza, from the public gallery, as some of those Mazza Mahmood targeted were there to see him sentenced. One of them, the former London's burning actor John Alford, who spent nine months in jail following one of Mahmoud's stings, welcomed the judgment. Well, he's going to wake up in a prison cell. That's, a, that's that one is good, a good thing. Result. It's taken over 20 years for some of us, but finally a judge and a jury of our peers has woken up to Mazza Mahmoud's lies. For 25 years, Mahmoud's stock was high, exposing the secrets of the rich and famous, making for explosive front-page headlines. He targeted sports stars, royals and celebrities. Among them, Emma Morgan, a former Page 3 model who plans to sue Mahmoud over a drug sting in the 1990s. I sold my car last year. Does that make me a car dealer? No. A drug dealer would earn their living from, t from selling drugs. I didn't earn a penny from what I did. To Mazza, in fact, I lost thousands, didn't I? I lost fortunes, I lost my career. But it was Mahmoud's drug sting with pop singer Talisa Contostavlos that did for him. He'd accused her of being a drug dealer, which she always denied. He was convicted of tampering with evidence to make her look guilty. Graham Johnson worked at the News of the World with Mahmoud, and he told me why he believes Mahmoud got away with what he describes as his bad behaviour. He had uh, the protection of senior executives, at News International, some of whom suspected that he was behaving badly, but didn't do anything about it. Mahmoud's now been sacked by News UK, News International, as it was known, who employed him at The Sun on Sunday and The News of the World. And tonight he starts a 15-month spell in jail. Sejal Karia, ITV News.